What is up, Plant Fam, and welcome to my channel. I'm Lux, and in this video, we are going to model this exact flip flop that you're seeing right here. Well, you might be wondering why model flip flop. Yeah, I thought of something crazy today, and I was like, why not just do it? So we are going to do that today, and I hope it will be fun. I hope you will enjoy this video, and please subscribe. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Well, we'll start by adding the reference image, and it is important to use reference image, and they are quite useful though, and you will see how much it will help us through this process. Now, let us add the reference image. Let me, oh yeah, let me start by um, 7 for top photographic view, and let me delete this cube, and add your flip-flop. And let us remove that now. Now, rename your reference image to something like flip flop underscore ref. Oh. And enter. And shift A and add a plane. And three for cytographic view. And grab this on the Z axis. And seven for topographic view and grab it on the x-axis and then rotate it on the z-axis and if I'm speaking too fast guys you could um oh yeah and enable the screencast key if I'm speaking too fast you could follow along over there grab this on the x-axis and then shift Z and we are going to uh, let us start by pulling these two vertices up on top and then pull these two vertices here on the bottom and that looks good now control R and add like one two three four five six seven wait let me count one two three four five six seven Add seven loops and control R and add three loops over here and then seven for topographic view. Actually, don't add these loops yet. The middle loops, don't add them yet. We'll add them later and and align these vertices with the edges of your flip flop. And keep on going and keep on doing that Align these vertices with your with the edges of your flip flop. Add three loops over there and grab that vertex and and now you can see that using reference images is important and it's really important to use them and there you go we've got the shape of a flip-flop sort of and what we should do with this reference image let us go there to the image panel and then enable alpha and then set the transparency to 0.5 and turn off display perspective so that it doesn't display in perspective view and it will only display in autographic view keep that in mind and there you go we've got the bottom part of our shoe of our flip-flop and now 
let us add some depth to our flip flop by simply adding a solidify modifier and set the thickness to 0 0.5 0 0.3 and there you go i like the way it is now and then select these edges and these edges what why though select these edges and now control B and bevel those and there you go I like the way it looks and now what we are going to do add a subdivision surface modifier and then shade smooth and there we go we almost have the bottom part of our mesh now turn off subdivision real quickly and shade flat and select these edges select 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 Select, 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 select. Control B and bevel those. And insert. And there you go that looks great shade smooth and there you go we've got the bottom part of our flip flop and let's rename it to flip flop underscore bottom and enter and there you go well that is it for this tutorial and i'll see you in the next part part two of our flip flop tutorial see you then